I'm sitting up. So that's what uh, I'm doing now. That isn't me. You ready? You gotta sit yeah. up tall like a princess. Okay. Okay? Sit. Jed, can you tell us the name of your church? Um, my favorite church, I love my class at church, and I love, and I like to, to help daddy me, help daddy me set up the church. Daddy sets up the church? No, I would, I would tell, I can, I, I like to help him at the church. Uh, what kind of stuff do you guys do? Um, we just play out of class, and Miss Stacy would be there. Miss Stacy's there? Do you like Miss Stacy? Yeah. Who do you learn about at church? Um, I use, I, I make crafts. Yeah. You make crafts, what's, yeah. What's the name of your church? Um, uh, I don't know. You don't know the name of your church? No. What's the name of our church? Um, gathering Church. That's right. And who's our pastor at the Gathering Church? Oh, and this, no! Uh, this is not the Grand Church, it's Rainbow School Grand Church. Right. Yes. At the Rainbow School. That's, That's right. right. Tell me who's our pastor there. Do you know his name? Pastor John Mark. And That's who else? Right. Pastor Barbie. And who else? Daddy. <laughs> That's right. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to update two of Night Family Life in Asheville. Yep, here we are, number two. Awesome. <laughs> Penelope and Jed did a really good job of updating you on most all the important things. It was pretty thorough. Yeah, yeah, it was good. We just wanted to add like two more things. Yeah, so. just a couple of things. Um, yeah, just to give you a little highlight on the church, things are going great. We um, we are seeing a healthy, slow and steady growth mm -hmm. um, at the church. And, um, and the gathering is just adding people into uh, life groups and into serving and getting connected. Mm -hmm. um, we've done our next classes the past couple of weeks and seen um, people just get plugged in. That's our next steps. And we mm -hmm. see people join serve teams and mm -hmm. just hear about the history of the church and um, how we decided to start here in Asheville. Mm -hmm. um, and we're seeing over 100 people every weekend yeah, for Sunday service. It's pretty crazy. And uh, anywhere from 15 to 30 online, which mm -hmm. is great. And uh, about 75% of our weekly attendants are in life groups, which yeah. is incredible. In fact, we had two brand new couples joined our life group a couple weeks ago, and yeah. they're already joined on a serve team and serving faithfully. And uh, we just love seeing people get connected into serve teams and in community uh, here in Asheville. It's been really cool. It's been so fun to be part yeah. of. So, um, And our family, we're doing well. Mm -hmm. Our kids are awesome. As you saw, Penelope turned two on Saturday, yeah. which was crazy i just can't believe it um just so we're just so thankful for our kids our family and um i'm writing a book which is yep. taking all my time that's going to be um, a bestseller that's yeah, what we're praying it's for be a bestseller a scripture doodle book so um it's just such a privilege to write i'm so excited about what god's doing through it so you can just be praying for that with us it will come out in the fall mm -hmm. and um yeah, and uh, just an upcoming event that we have at the church. We're doing an event called Serve Asheville. Mm -hmm. would love your prayers for that. We're partnering with a few other churches in the area, and it's just an incredible opportunity on a Saturday where we get to go out and serve the city um, with the different schools and the Parks and Rec department to just help uh, revitalize some of the stuff there with landscaping and painting and all that. So just an incredible opportunity to serve the city. So be praying for that. That's on April 30th. Yeah. And uh, we're excited about that. It's going to be great. And uh, we also, we need your prayer uh, also for our fundraising. Yeah. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not know, but when we decided to move here to help plant the Gathering Church, uh, we agreed to raise my salary. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we, you may not know why. Um, and so I wanted to give you a little bit uh, insight into that. Mm -hmm. And the reason that we're, we're raising our salary is because it really helps the church um, to not have to worry about um, what money we're bringing in on a weekend or um, have to focus on those worries, but we get to actually focus in on the church and what we're doing and in the life of the church and not have to have other jobs and be worried about that, but mm -hmm. really devote our time uh, to the work of the church and mm -hmm. to making sure that a Sunday morning experience is excellent for when somebody comes through the front door. Yeah, and um, I think that I think that we're seeing that for sure. I We were talking about it the other day, just the value of having, you know, our team, John Mark, Robbie, and Robert, they all share 
this passion for the church and they all have a very unique role and I think it's translating on the Sunday morning. I think it really is excellent and it's such a privilege to be part of and we want to keep being part of it and so um, and we will we believe God is going to provide for us but if you will pray with us and consider um, supporting us we're asking the Lord to help us be fully funded um, by the end of this month month. yeah Yeah. and so Mm -hmm. what that looks like is since last month we've had some support come in and we just want to say thank you to those of you who supported us financially and in prayer it's so valuable and we're still about two thousand dollars a month away from our need so what that looks like is 10 of you giving a hundred dollars a month Mm -hmm. and then 20 other people giving fifty dollars a month and i know sometimes that feels like a lot and so we would just ask you to just pray and um and thank you in advance for for giving and um, for believing in our family and for believing in what God is doing in us here in Asheville. And if you want to come visit and just see what's happening, we'd love to have you. We'd yeah. love to have you stay for a couple of days and visit the church. Or even if you can't visit the church, just come and, and fall in love with this city like we have because mm-hmm. God is doing just some really awesome stuff. And yeah. it is, we're just, we want to say thank you, God, for letting yeah. us be part of it. And yeah. and thank you to you guys for, for watching this video and for keeping up with us and um, we couldn't do it without you. Yeah. So. And let us know. Feel free to message us and let us know how we can be praying for you yes. and your families. And uh, we're just so thankful once again for all of your support, your yeah. prayers and financial support. And uh, just pray that you would continue on this journey with us uh, as we see God move in Asheville. Mm-hmm. So thanks. Y'all have a great night. Yeah. What's your verse? Penelope. Hey Jed, um, who are some of your friends that you have here at Asheville? Uh, at my house? No, who are some of your friends? Daddy, you can you name some of your daddy. friends? I'm friends. Hey Penelope, do you have some friends? Yes, who? Josiah. Josiah is your friend too? Josiah? Daddy. Who else is your friend? Bunny. Bunny? Bunny's your friend? Can you turn around like a princess? Oh, so pretty. Jed, do you like to do worship at the gathering? Yeah. Yeah? What do you, what do you like to do? I want to show you my dance move. All right, we'll see. Good job. Is that what you do for worship at the church? Yeah. Yeah? Just like daddy. Mommy, I want my job now.